Gustavo Guedes is 26, ambitious, and facing unemployment at about the worst time for young Americans in recent history. I do my homework. I don't think sometimes it's good enough because I've done my resume in the last three, in the last two or three years, about 80 times. He moved from Florida to Chicago for a summer job at a real estate firm that runs out in August. He's got an iPhone loaded with job sites and crushing college debts. For many Americans, things are slowly getting better. But with more experienced workers getting hired first and entry-level jobs being replaced by machines, young workers face an especially unwelcome job market. The sad reality is that now, even in 2013, if you just look at the, the basic share of young people uh, that have a job, it has never been lower as long as recorded uh, uh, data has existed in the United States, which goes back to the 1940s. The overall U.S. unemployment rate hovers between 7 and 8 percent. For those under 29, it's 12 percent, and many have lowered their sights for now. I work retail, just cashiering. I'm definitely still looking. I'm always looking for something better, you know. But I guess right now that's what I'm in, just to pay the bills. For young black Americans, the unemployment rate is 23 percent. So how's the job market looking to you? It's not looking good for me. <laughs> it seems like they're not giving away jobs, though. <laughs> Those who start their careers in unemployment can experience what economists call professional scarring. They can expect to make less starting out and less throughout their careers than if they had gone straight from their education to their first job. You know, they, they, they bring up this false hope when you're in college that you go to college, you get a good job. I went to college. I paid half $100,000 to go to college, and now what? As young job seekers add the latest flourishes to thin resumes, economists say high unemployment among 18 to 29-year-olds isn't just a problem for them. Over the next decade, it will also cost the U.S. economy $18 billion in lost wages. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, Chicago.